and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Monkey Fortune, our first Meme Tier Monday deck of the week. So let's see what we got here. Basically, we have a Monkey Idol combo where we can get infinite Powder Monkeys. That's the goal of what we got. We're going to try to get infinite Powder Monkeys. This was uh, somebody in chat uh, just suggested this for um, for today. Try to make an infinite Powder Monkey deck with a combo of three cards. All right, so our combo is we have Monkey Idol in play. And uh, as you can see, it does uh, the round start, it does two to it and summons a Powder Monkey. All right, so we want to reduce that. So instead of two damage, we're going to make it one damage because we're going to put Chain Vest on it. So we're going to make it tough. So then um, Monkey Idol is only taking... Uh, one damage instead of two. Uh, yes, I can do that real quick. Oh, whoops. I can refresh the camera. All right, so now our powder monkey is, or our <clears throat> our monkey idol is only taking one damage instead of two. And, uh, and of course, we have this um, powder monkey that dies at the end of turn because it's ephemeral. And we're going to pair that with Dawn Speakers. So, because whenever the Powder Monkey dies, then all of our allies get plus one, plus one at the end of the round. So, our Monkey Idol will get plus one, plus one. And so, therefore, whenever it takes one damage, it still it takes one damage at the beginning of the turn, but then it grows by one at the end of the turn, so it never dies. So, we can just continue to make Powder Monkeys every turn. And also, at the end of turn, all of our allies are getting plus one, plus one. All right, so I was thinking like, all right, so with that combo, um, I was thinking like where where we want to put it. We want to make sure that Dawn Speakers matters. I decided to just go with the regular old Misfortune Quinn, um, good uh, scout deck, like where we're going to be attacking a lot and where we want to have a lot of allies because we need to make sure that like the plus one plus one for all of our other allies is important as well. And we want to be aggressive. We want those powder monkeys to matter and everything. So that's what we got. I also have one Unyielding Spirit at the top end where we can put Unyielding Spirit on Monkey Idol also and just kind of um, cut out the middlemen there and, you know, we can have our uh, Monkey Idol that never dies and keep getting a bunch of Powder Monkeys that way. So, yeah, that's 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 our combo. Um, so let's give it a try. Uh, Meme Tier Monday's first deck today. Uh, we got two other decks for Meme Tier Monday. The all we have the All In Fizz deck that's going to be next. That was a a swim deck, I believe, like where it's just all about um, you know it's like Fizz combo, just trying to get Fizz and pump up Fizz and everything like that. And then um, the Bird is the Word deck. <laughs> that one's going to be pretty janky. That's going to be all. Like cards that all have birds on them, like Fleet Feather Tracker. It's just a whole bunch of birds <laughs> throwing them together. All right, so Maokai, Nautilus. Um, we have a decent one, two. Let's get rid of these two. Is Unyielding Spirit and K Control a legitimately good card? Yeah. Yeah, if you are Demacia, if your keg control deck is Demacia and Bilgewater, and so therefore you can fit it in, absolutely. So I wish we were attacking on turn two, of course. That, that would be nice, but we're not. No prey. We're gonna start with misfortune. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. I think I saw her at the used ship emporium. No. I don't know. I'm probably supposed to be attacking with these other things, also, aren't I? I definitely like taking out that Jaw Hunters. The Isles 
will bloom again. Hmm. Where are we gonna fit in this Dawn Speakers? Am I just not gonna be able to play Dawn Speakers? I guess I don't even have room for Valor now, do I? I guess it's pretty awkward. Less is more shine. I didn't necessarily miss six damage. Love ya. With the attack. Definitely missed some damage, though. Protect our grove. Do we just want to <clears throat> attack with everything? Basically, you know, I don't think that they're going to block with. D for two. Maokai. I just want to protect Misfortune. I mean... Yeah, the, yeah the, I'm sure they would have block, jump blocked with the coral creatures. Obviously, but yes, I, I should have attacked with, the, with my three power things before. Words move hearts and armies. Be strong. These are dark times. And <clears throat> playing playing something over another thing doesn't mean that it dies. That's just obliterating it. So we don't get any last breath triggers if we do that. Well, that's unfortunate. Looks like Misfortune gonna die. I think it's more important to play Dawn Speakers than anything else. Dawn Speakers is hopefully going to win us this. I know we are so close to leveling up that Misfortune. I shouldn't have played that other Bright Seal Protector last turn. So do I just straight up attack with everything? Alright, so yeah, I, I've played this too cautiously, not aggressive enough. Gotta get back in the mindset of our deck. It's the thing about like changing decks all the time. You have to readjust your thinking. So I think we so, okay, they, they block these two. They take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ugh, not lethal. If I scout attack, I let them... Well, I guess we let them play stuff.
yeah, I mean, I, I missed out on damage in this game by not attacking at uh, turn three. Needed to attack with other stuff. Do a little bit more damage. The steel is yours. As Demacia wills it, let's get to it. Kill me. Or all my stuff. Blood Not good. We need Powder Monkey. Get this last damage across. Probably not attacking, right? Or are they? If they if they are gonna attack, I wanna pass. And then play Quinn, second main. If they're not gonna attack, I wanna play the Bright Seal Protector. The safer play is just to play the Bright Seal Protector. Alright, they're definitely attacking. Shield up. How you doing? I don't want to take I don't want to take enough to set up atrocity lethal with Nautilus. Right, like we have to make sure we're not doing that. We didn't get our combo, but Dawn Speakers was amazing. So yeah, even though I, I didn't play the early turns perfectly and missed out on some damage, made up for it. Played the last few turns correct. 
<laughs> Don Speakers is a better Bannerman. Well. At times, at times, yes. Like that game. Other times it's a 1 4. Both five drops, yeah. Bounty ball knows we die. Hard to get rich. I'll try any one more. Smell that? To cook it. Hmm. This card's good against misfortune. Look what you did. All right, we'll turn it into one health. Hope the misfortune uh, no prey. kills it from there. Feel the sizzle. Feel the sizzle. So they're going to use, like, Elixir of Iron. Basically, should I be pumping up Misfortune? Let's see. Take Heart. Take Heart would turn this into a 5-4. In case we would want 4. But then the... No, because then the 1 damage from this, so that would still be dead. All right, so now we can, we can do this. Let's see what you can do. Hey, Yori Nato. Doesn't kill Misfortune. Which is misfortunate for my opponent. Let the flames take you. Ouch. I play Misfortune now, it takes a damage. End the round. Be able to start banking the spell mana. Ooh, Quinn. So either Quinn or Fortune plus Protector. Fortune plus Protector. It found you. Empire above all! Not while I've got bullets left. I'm going to risk it. Risking it anymore. We are at war. My kind of party. Probably should have just played Quinn. Because Quinn gets to attack twice, and so getting unyielding spirit on Quinn that's attacking twice is probably more valuable than misfortune that's attacking once. GG's. Fortune smiles. We haven't seen our monkeys yet. Oh yeah, the, the bullets are great. For sure. Misfortune's attack bullets. It 
Doggo is. Let's see. Doggo just like, where's, where's powder monkeys? <laughs> couldn't, couldn't quite make it to her doggo bed. Couldn't quite make it. We got two parts of our combo. I'll just keep. We just need the monkey idol. <laughs> this meme Monday deck is so meme that the monkeys are memeing by not showing up. I don't really want to trade that yet. I can help it. I want Dawn Speakers to be out there first. You're covered. Mm. So I can't do anything about this. I can protect the tracker and then they kill the protector for free. Yeah, this is just this is just the good part about attacking on turn two. If we were on attacking on turn two, we would have done the same thing to them that they're attacking on turn two. Uh yeah, so I can't really stop it. Um Got your back. I think the tracker's probably more valuable than the protector because of these things. So I guess we let the protector die. That was not correct. Mayhaps. I do this and eat the Omen Hawk, and then do that so they can't kill my Warshafts, which is a block. Eat up, friend. Press on. So many Fleet Feather trackers everywhere. Double Dawn Speaker. Break their spirits Ugh. And their soul. Come on. By the strength of our convictions. Harry, repose. You are tough. Aha. Those are some. That's one tough war chef. I guess it's a lot of tough war chefs. Alright, so now we'll grow the war chefs. Our allies did not fall in vain. Yeah, it's just. All challengers back and forth. I'll hunt them where they breathe. Swim quickly from this. Okay. 
trying to get rid of this thing. Darn. Well, the good news is we're going to grow the war shafts even more. No attacks. No attacks. Pass turn. Oh yeah, that's a good one drop to hit. Last breath draw card. That's a good one drop. There's a chill in the air. Let's go last breath draw card. And trigger Dawn Speakers. All right, so I can Protector the War Chefs and then attack. Oh, come on. Yuck. What was that attack really accomplishing? Let's pass. Oh no, please don't have single combat. Don't kill my Dawn Speakers, that would be really sad. Okay, good. These are dark times. Nothing gets between me and my mark. to a protector yeah yeah their yeah their their hand was amazing my my hand wasn't bad either <clears throat> the other they finished out with some really great cards Are there one out of four for Lucian level up? There's some good games. Wherever they hide. Right on. 
two things die. As far as Lucian is concerned. Block the Omen Hawk, that's a third thing. And then we have to like chump chump. We can make like Chase the glory. this block keep Quinn alive. Patience makes perfect. Kill Omen Hawk. Do not doubt. And then chump block. I guess, I guess my 2-1 can't even chump block, so chump block with Quinn. That's far enough. That seems weird. Our allies did not look in grim. Played the Jagged Butcher. Oh, I shouldn't play that Jagged Butcher. Hmm. It's got to be worth it to play Misfortune first, right? Yeah, I mean we could we could just do this. The thing is, I could play like Misfortune. I could I could challenge the Quinn and kill Quinn with the Misfortune trigger, and then but then their Lucian levels up. But then I could kill Lucian. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. Why would they chump block with? Cute bird. Cute Never mind. Figure it out. Cute face. Talon proof. Let's say why would they chump block with Quinn over the Omen Hawk? Figured it out. Making the dead deader. No attacks. Pass. Pass. No attacks. Don't hold back. Hmm. They attacked. Okay. So if we kill that thing, A delicious then we can. Can you stomach this? 
have to kill that. Maybe I have to do that. Ah, thanks, Gearsome. Who Throw will stand there. with us? Hmm. Not good. I could have had my four four block there, two two omen hawk. Could have done that. I gotta show you the sights of Billswater. The sights are fun. Not a bad draw. The smells, on the other hand. I wish I had a little bit more time on that camp combat to kind of determine what I wanted to do. But yeah, I could have just taken out that omen hawk. There's, there's not really any reason not to block that one. Looked like they were going to be taking we're safe for now. enough for us. Crazy that we haven't drawn a single powder monkey yet, right? Or a single monkey idol. There's three in the deck. We're trying to meme it up. We're just playing regular Misfortune Quinn. The Dawn Speakers have looked good in regular Misfortune Quinn. So there's Monkey Idol. Keep it. We got Monkey Idol Dawn Speakers. We got that that part of our combo. Now we just need a chain vest. Hmm. So Jagged Butcher could be a better turn one play because of that card. But with that being said, I like them using that card. And because that's like one of their best removal spells from my Dawn Speakers. So I like that uh, getting out of their hands. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. We don't have all of the combo. We have 
two of the three pieces of the combo. Let's monkey around. All right, let's monkey around. I need no weapon. Monkey around. The order rewards its faithful. I don't really want to trade Bright Seal Protector for Shadow Assassin when we're going to be growing it with um, Dawn Speakers. I'll do this trade though. Trade Misfortune for their 4 3 elusive and a Mystic Shot. That's a lot of damage. It's hard for me to deal with a 4 3 elusive. That's a good trade. Great card. It's a great card. Rather do a Monkey Idol plus <clears throat> Misfortune or Cythria. It's better to play the Monkey Idol right now. Do not Fortune favors the like Cythria on their turn. Great draw of that single combat. Great draw. Try to get rid of my Vi, we can. The dark or try to get rid of my Cythria, we can kill the Vi. Don't hold back. Time for violence. It's too late for you. The one two punch. Let's go, fearsome monkey idols. Or fe fearsome powder monkeys. Look how fearsome they are. They're so fearsome. Get them, powder monkeys. Too fearsome. You cannot escape. All right, they get to survive though. So this Vi is gonna stay alive and level up. Should I just single combat have my Cythria die? Like, just trade Cythria here or trade? Bright Steel Protector. I guess it'd be better to trade Bright Steel Protector, right? So then they would keep Shadow Assassin alive. I mean, no, because this, this puts them down to two. Monkey Idol will only make another one for one and then another one. I guess, yeah, I guess it will be lethal pretty soon, won't it? I'm gonna try this. Spirit's Refuge is not the only answer. They could use removal. Coming to save the day. Or wreck it. My love you. 
Uh, another twin disciplines. That's not a good sign. I mean, I guess just the Vi challenge kills me. Kills that. Yeah, they, they just have the Vi. It's not. Yeah, the Vi just challenges the monkey idol. That's all they need to do. I don't need spirits refuge. Ooh, that's a good card. the refuge. So shouldn't use the single combat then. I mean, if I if I don't use single combat, then they would still have that three mana to be able to no use twin discipline. So like, it's not like it's not like saving single combat would have really help. Um, if I would have, if I would have single combated with the Scythria instead, that could have helped. Because the Scythria um, would have killed through a twin discipline. So like that, that was my problem. Is I shouldn't have fought with the five four. I should have just fought with the Scythria, or just you know like let damage happen, and then fight. But I didn't want them to level up. Yeah, so they gained 15. Yeah, they gained, gained the 10 from the attack, and they also uh, gained the 5 from that thing. I walk my path alone. By the strength of our convictions. The order rewards its faithful. So I, my only hope is drawing single combat. That's my only hope. doing this my way single combat I could like fight whoever was getting challenged now we plan our revenge spirits refuge is a great card and so is twin disciplines we could, probably could have done something different we we'll go back and replay that I'm sure I could have Done something different. <laughs> Good, I was worried these meme decks would get wins. Can't have that. <laughs> um. I think we're gonna keep unyielding spirit, even though we can't play it right now. Just seems like a perfect card in this kind of matchup. We just played against Timer. Fine. Yeah, forget Loyal Badger Bear. Just get two mana, or turn two, one mana, four, four. Get paid. Words move hearts and armies. Our allies did not fall in vain. Torn to get rich. By the strength of our convictions. Hmm. That hand was great. <laughs> Take with zero, or just get zero mana three threes. They just took my Jagged Butcher off the top. No, 
now. Nagakaburus guide us. <clears throat> Valor Christ did not fall in vain. Always forward. Got you in my sights. Who will stand with us? I'm not sure exactly what this attack's about. Take cover. <laughs> the winter's claw strikes. All right, so we're going to go misfortune but not that good. And probably island Na I guess island navigator too. I was going to maybe go dawn speakers, but I guess we just go island navigator. Yes, fleet feather tracker. Oh no, it doesn't have challenger. This is our way. Should have done the island navigator first. Want to take all that damage again? I'm fine with that. Good old unyielding spirit. Their deck's pretty cool though. Bunch of super low cost stuff. Bunch of good one and two mana cards. Just looks like the the old suicide attack. Got nothing else to do. That's what it looks like. Just pass. The strong will have the spoils. Show them what we're made of. Scouting ahead. Always forward. Justice takes flight. It's our time to shine, Valor. Gotta get more attacks in. Yeah, we're we're playing Misfortune Quinn. Which that's not really a meme deck, but we're we're trying with Monkey Idol, Dawn Speakers, Chain Vest. We haven't really been drawing the Chain Vest or the the Monkey Idol like our meme cards. All we're doing is just playing like regular <laughs> uh, Misfortune Quinn. The Dawn Speakers has looked great. Like honestly, Dawn Speakers was really good in those games. It really was. Now let's get back out there. All right, so we went four and one with Monkey Fortune. So yeah, like we were we were trying the Monkey Idol, Chain Vest, Dawn Speakers, Infinite Combo. Um, didn't really draw those. Um, <laughs> and uh, Unyielding Spirit, still a good card. Good card. <laughs> Infinite Monkey isn't a meme. It's meta and beautiful. Still a good card. Uh, if you want, like honestly, Dawn Speakers looked great. It really did. If you want to um, make this deck better, honestly, not playing Chain Vest and playing other tricks slash removal would be better. 
Um, you know, I don't know if that's like, like Rangers Resolve would be better, like for the most part, and then like Parlay, things like that. You know, I don't know if you want to make a rain, but you know, like just just getting like some removal spells in here. Um, I don't I don't really even mind like a scrap shot or judgment. I don't know something like that for Demacia. I don't know, but like that kind of thing, and then probably replacing Monkey Idol as well. Like the best version of this deck, you know, is not is not going to be the combo version, but play you know replace Monkey Idol, um, you know, with other stuff. But honestly, like this felt really good. Like maybe even play like one Monkey Idol. Monkey Idol is a good card to turn on Dawn Speakers though, and Dawn Speakers felt awesome. I yeah, Unyielding Spirits really really good. Probably just want two Unyielding Spirits. Uh, that that's probably just like one thing is is that like you know one monkey idol should just be another unyielding spirit but anyway as far as the the meme deck yeah this this deck was was really good because it's just misfortune quinn a bunch of good aggressive stuff pretty solid deck <clears throat> all right those y'all watching on youtube uh thanks for watching hit that like button over there feel free to leave those comments let me know what you want to see for next week, Meme Tier Monday. I'm sorry that I, we didn't really get to combo too much. We didn't really get to the Monkey Idol, Chain Vest, Dawn Speakers thing going. It just didn't really draw Monkey Idol. It's not like I was mulliganing away Monkey Idol. It was only in my opening hand one time, and I kept it. Um, but yeah, we just weren't drawing it. Um, yeah, Chain Vest isn't the worst, but there's better. There's better. Um, and yeah, having a little bit of removal is it's good. But it's not, it's not, a, it's not like a, a bad card. <clears throat> all right but that's it here for monkey fortune so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video